Hello everybody, this is Doug the Two Minute Gardener again, and today we're going to look at how to install flagstone on a pool deck. Now obviously you can use flagstone for pool decks, patios, pathways, stairs, all kinds of things. One of the great things about flagstone is it gives you a lot of different colors depending on the color you pick, and we'll talk about colors. But let's look at this project. So before the pool deck was just concrete that was cracked, some of it was sinking, some of it was lifting. It wasn't even with the uh, brick coping and brick trim, which created all kinds of trick hazard, trip hazards for the kids playing in the backyard. So, first up, it's demo time. Brought in the Bobcat with a big jackhammer attachment and started demoing out. We also did a whole lot of renovation on the pool itself, got rid of the coping, uh, the old tile, and replastered that. But we'll get back to that a little bit later. So, all, all that concrete out and then pour a new slab of concrete. The important thing is to very carefully make sure the height of the concrete matches the finish height. So we put the coping with the concrete and the tile and figure out what your finish grade is. And as always, you got to have that rebar every 24 inches to reinforce the concrete. So once we've gotten that done, you float it out really nice and level. We want to have it draining away from the pool. So if it, we have really heavy rain, it's not filling the pool to overflowing capacity. Anyway, the concrete's done. Now comes the hard part, the jigsaw part of flagstone. And flagstone, the material is not that expensive. It's about anywhere from 400 to 700 a ton. A ton will cover 80 to 100 square feet, depending on the thickness. But it is very time consuming. So as you can see, the guys here are finding all the individual pieces. And we use six tons on this particular job to cover about 850 square feet. But there is a lot of time consuming lift it measure it move it try another piece figure out which piece looks best um, we the flag so you see in this is called sockeye salmon it's from Karasi. it's a beautiful project but it took three weeks to do all this cutting and piecing and mortaring and so there's a lot of move it rotate it spin it trim it with the masonry saw and once it's all laid out and all the pieces fit just right, then it's time to go back and mortar it on place. And they use the Type S mortar to attach it to the concrete itself. And this is a time consuming process. Again, you gotta move, put it in, level it, and this is the really important part. You always gotta make sure to really level it carefully so that, that you don't have trip hazards if you don't set that concrete exactly level with the next one next to it. So, it, like I said, it was a time consuming process. It took the guys three weeks to get all this piece out, cut out, mortared in place. And then uh, after they did that, they cleaned it up a little to get ready for the big mortar install. So here's what it looks like before you get to the mortar part. Everything's all pieced together nicely. Now in this particular job, the contractor did such a beautiful job. All the gaps were less than an inch. This was something that was really important to the client. They wanted a really tight fit on all this flagstone. So the guys did a great job with their custom cutting to get it to less than one inch. All right, now it's time to grab a grout bag and start filling it up with grout. They use the medium tan grout for this. Basically, it kind of looks like a cake decorator. It squeezes out the grout into all the cracks. And this is kind of a three-man operation. So one person is on the grout bag, and he's you know going back to the wheelbarrow and filling up the grout bag. And again, he squeezes it out to fill in all the individual cracks of the flagstone and the purpose of this grout is to hold that flagstone in place horizontally the concrete and the mortar hold it up and down this one locks it in place and then another person goes along with a flat edge trowel and trowels it all flat and this when they do this they push the grout as deep into the crevice as they can again assure a perfectly flat level surface the third person then comes along with the sponge and the water with the knee pads and cleans all that excess grout off. So it's important to do that uh, all in the same shot so the grout is still wet and workable 
to clean it all off uh, and then let it all completely dry. So before you get to the sealer, you have to let everything dry and also make sure that the weather is dry. Even if there's condensation or dew on the flagstone, you can't put the sealer down. The flagstone has to be 100% dry before you do sealer. Now the reason you always, always, always do sealer on flagstone is flagstone is a stone surface. So if you drop a drink and the surface doesn't have sealer, it will stain the flagstone forever. And flagstone is not something that's easily repairable. If you break a piece, you can all you can do is water the pieces. You can't replace the piece easily. So as they do with paver patios and other types of hard surfaces that potentially may have drinks on them this one was sealed with a semi-gloss sealer it's just a backpack pump sprayer again it was 850 square feet so this was the easiest way to seal it with this sealer have to let it completely dry for a couple of days but this will protect this beautiful flagstone um, from drinks and spills and the weather and so now it's time for the big moment this is again what it was before yucky concrete with old 80s brick trim and now we have this really beautiful patio now a little confession when I shot this particular video it was raining so it's a little shinier than it really is in real life I apologize I just couldn't get a break with the weather but it also brings up a second point that's really important. Flagstone is a great pool deck material because of the irregularities in the stone surface. It makes it really, really slip resistant. It's great for the steps and the patios. You see the guys did a great job piecing out all the little pieces for the steps. And again, we also renovated the pool at the same time. So we did a new coping to match the flagstone, new tile and new plaster work. So it was a really big back backyard remodel. There's actually, this is only half of the remodel. There's a whole great room with the barbecue and a TV cabinet, but I'll show you those next week. And then finally, we did an artificial turf lawn for their dog. Well, a big shout out to one at Unique Landscaping. Their crew did an amazing job on this pool deck. There's his contact information. And that's it. So that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get more of my garden videos. This is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying thanks so much for watching.